Uh, okay. If you press M, so I just started. Drawing sorry. Modes. Okay. Like, so I just sorry. I just started recording. So the concept is go into the Sketcher module within. Okay. FreeCAD. Yeah, you go to Sketcher module, then View you start Workbench sketch. you sketch. Button, Start a new sketch. Is that under Workbench? Then you take the Polyline tool, which is yeah. this one here, and uh, okay. you begin to draw a rough uh -huh. uh, outline of your of yep. your profile. Uh, when you are in the polyline tool, if you press the M key, you switch between different modes, and you have a useful mode, which is this arc mode. Yeah. And then you can just you see that I'm not being precise at all. Using the M key or switching between the M key? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then I have this drawing. I will select those two points and press the... the point button, which would like put the two endpoints on one. Uh -huh. And then I have to rectify all this. So I take, for example, the upper line, I press the horizontal button, I take a vertical line, I press the vertical button. Oh, nice. I press this one, I press the vertical button. Mm -hmm. Then I can specify, I take, for example, one point on the top line and one point in the bottom line, and I put a vertical distance. Let's say I do well, anything now. I will put 100 millimeters, and I do the same here between two horizontal points. And I put, for example, 200 millimeters. Now yeah. I have my big dimensions. I must make sure my arcs have the right radius. For this, I select an arc, I press the radius button, I will, let's say, 30, no, let's say something smaller, 5, 10, yeah, 10, same for all the arcs. Yeah. How do you select the imperial mode instead of metric? same basically a line and this time You click on a single point. Mm -hmm. I'm rectifying everything. This time, instead of specifying the distance, I will just specify the distance between the inner profile and the outer profile, which would be more convenient. Now. Sometimes sketcher is a bit hard to. Okay, I will put five millimeters. Mm -hmm. Same between here and here. Five millimeters between here and here. Five millimeters. And between here and here. 
five millimeters. So that's nearly done. I just need to put the radius of those arcs. Actually, no, I need to. So that will be five now. How do you know it's five? Guess. Five, 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 because the, the first one was. Uh, oh, are you doing it from the same point? Okay, now I have my perfect profile. Yeah. And you see that um, it has two main dimensions here that you can change. For example, you want another one that's not 200 millimeters by 100, but you want 200 by 200. You can just change this here. And since the inner profile is linked to the outer one, everything updates automatically correctly. Yeah. So we can close here. Now we have our base profile. Uh, in the part design workbench, we have this pad tool, which is in the form of extrusion. So we select our sketch, press the pad tool, and we would extrude that by two meters, let's say. Mm -hmm. This is all parametric, so I can come back here and change the extrusion height any time. So you can create different one easily. So now we need our hole. So I think the easiest way is to go in the part workbench use that cylinder tool where is the cylinder? here yeah it's really small so let's make it bigger cylinder tool and part and design which workbench is this? part part design? 100 meters and the radius 20, no more 50 Okay, now I have a good cylinder that will become the hole. So now I will rotate it and place it at the correct location. For that I can use simply the draft tools, which are in arc module as well. And I will do one thing first, is take it by the origin and place it, I will enable center line snapping, I will place it right here. Now my cylinder is aligned with the axis of the profile. If I put myself here, nope. here, I will rotate it. And degrees. No, this was not. I placed, I placed it arbitrarily here, of course it should be placed with more care, mm -hmm. but for now it will do. I'm sure it's centralized because I placed it on the center line before, so the, the space between between the start of the beam and, and the hole I won't uh, care mm -hmm. of it now, but it should be done with more, more care. Yeah. And then what I will do now is use this draft array tool, which basically you can see that it created three cylinders at very close distance, but I can configure it. And basically I want it in the Z axis. So I want one in a 
to x1 in y and I will want 10 in z. But I have to give uh, interval z, I will, let's say, every 200. Yeah, that seems good. I will make it only 9 because the last one will cut half the value. The of course, this is all you can adjust it later, space between all the stuff. Now we have our two objects. All we need to do is a part. I will save or my file because you never know. Cut, and that's it. Which workbench are you in? And uh, the this was parts. Parts, okay. parts has all the basic tools like uh, union mm -hmm. cut and that stuff. Yeah. If you open that, that object in the tree view, you still have the inner parts. So you yeah. could, for example, let's say change the diameter of the of the hole in, uh, instead of fifty millimeters. Let's make it. 25 and you see that it updates very nice okay now tell me uh, tell me how you copy one of these and rotate it 90 degrees so if you want to sure. do the corner of a box yeah. uh, the rotate tool would be in where no, but uh, keep the other one. The rotate tool is in. Sorry, I didn't understand what keep, you just said. Keep keep the old one and rotate this one. Yeah, keep the old one so you create the corner like basically. It's cutting. But I cannot understand anything that you're saying. No, I'm saying leave the old one. What? How can you leave the old one? So you have two objects. That that's only within assembly module or where? No, you can do that here, right? Without assembly do, module. Sorry? If you want to cut copy this, make multiple yeah, ones. Actually the assembly module is is the assembly module that comes with FreeCAD is really non non functioning. You shouldn't use it. If uh -huh. you want to use the assembly you, you should use the one that's that you can download from GitHub, which is Assembly 2. Yeah, Assembly that 2. So I have that it. uploaded. So This has a couple of... I have that. So how do you take that? So in Assembly 2, uh -huh. how do you take this, make a copy, and rotate? So would you do that in Assembly module, or can you just do this in I this? Know, honestly, uh, I haven't worked much with it yet, so I'm not sure. But let me try. I mean, what's the easiest way to make a copy? Let's, and say, let's copy one. Let's make a copy of this. If I use copy paste, I can make a complete new object. Okay, copy and which paste. Is a yeah. Copy, but it has its own. It, it has its own uh, internals, so I can, for example, make one shorter. Okay. Which is pretty. And then you can rotate good, and snap actually. them to one another. Show me how you rotate and snap one. So, so just a copy tool, and here to rotate. I just used, yeah. Yes, and I used the grid. To, to have no 90 degrees because uh, it's it's easy with the grid you just take one start position that's horizontal and this end position that's vertical and you had 90 degrees and um, so I often use the grid to, to do rotations because you can snap at logical positions show me the grid where's the gr degrees. where's the grid button so it's convenient and now to attach these things, let's see how that works. <laughs> yeah, you can add plane constraints. Let's say if we select two surfaces.
Oh yeah. wow. Kind of works actually. And to yeah. rotate it, you one, use one, the. One That's cool. So to rotate it, you use the rotate, which is the second symbol. to place before moving and the rotation tool is where draft module draft module okay okay yeah basically that's it mm -hmm. Show, can you just show the rotation, how that looks, so you go back to the other module and just rotate? The rotate tool is this one. And I'm not sure my mouse appears. Oh, that one, the blue one? The rotate blue, uh-huh, okay. That one? Yeah. Yep. And so you select, you select an object. You would want first to place yourself in the view where you will have your full rotation angle, it will be easier. Uh, yeah. Then you press the rotate tool. It will ask you for a base point, a start angle, and an end angle. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can also give those angles numerically, you can type the angle. Okay. That's good. Okay. That's a basic tutorial on making yeah, at tubes. At the moment, I would say don't use... Sorry? So that's a basic tutorial for making tubes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You wouldn't use what? Do you want this file to play? Yeah. Yep. Um, you said you would not do what? not use the assembly at the moment because or let's say rely as little as possible on it because um, ah, because basically it's still um, under development but what about assembly 2 it's in development so that, yeah how about assembly 2 is that okay or no yeah, that's 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 what I mean. Assembly two, the, the assembly normal is is to be totally totally um, totally dead. But assembly two is that usable or no? You're saying two is not usable either. Yeah, you could, but uh, I mean it's still in in development. And okay. This is the file. It's still pretty much in development, and um, yeah, there might be something that uh, stops working at some point, and or doesn't work anymore, like it it is working, and that kind of stuff. So if you use that assembly two module, you should be aware that it can just change I see. quickly because it's still pretty early. Okay. In development, and um, I I don't I, I never use it. At the moment, I only use manual rotations and placements. Okay. And uh, keep my stuff like that. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's a matter of choice. Lots of people are already using that assembly module on the, on the forum. Right. But with a basic draft module, you can do things like rotate and put things next to one another. Sorry, didn't get that. Uh, in a basic draft module, you can do all the things pretty much that you need. Um, meaning rotations, yes. moving things next to each other, copying and pasting, etc. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
and just you won't have the the I mean, for example, that's what happens in in the the files I've been doing for the for the greenhouse. Um, the objects won't move together. Like if you make one dimension bigger, you will have several pieces to move by hand after that, and they won't move together. That's the problem at the moment, but it, it doesn't uh, prevent you from doing efficient work. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds good. Just is, let's say it's a comfort that you don't have. Right. So the other way, if we have the, the SketchUp file, the only other way to make it effectively transfer to FreeCAD would be to, what, to, to export an SDL, or that's also messed up? Or probably step would be the only one? If I had to, the other files and I could just export them? Only way we could do it is in step? Yeah, step step is much better than than mm -hmm. DIA, DAI, DAE, uh, DAE because um, it's solid already. Yeah. When um, DAE is is meshes, so it's all only triangles, and this is not very practical once it's in FreeCAD. It's hard to do something with it. Yeah. And. Um, when 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 you have the, those uh, step files, it's already solid. It's the same kind of geometry that FreeCAD uses. Uh, after that, if you want to export it, it, export as mesh as well. But it's the highest um, highest possible level, and so it's much better quality. The yeah. curves are still curves, etc. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So that sounds good. That's, I'm going to practice that. What's the best tutorial on uh, assembly module? Uh, what do you mean? Sorry? No, where would I find the best basic instructional on the assembly module? Oh, I think there is one topic on the, on the forum. Let me find it back. just gave you the link. That's where okay. the whole discussion about the assembly tool happens and you will see people testing and asking how it works and, and so at the moment that's all you will have. Okay. Maybe let me see if on the on the GitHub repo if you have something. Oops. But I don't think no. There is no documentation yet. The guy oh, is still assembly. On it, so no, no. I'm I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I meant not assembly. I'm, I meant the draft. The, just the plain draft module. The, is there some good videos on that? Uh, for for the other modules, the draft modules. Yeah. Has a big has a good section of wiki. If you go to the FreeCAD wiki, you go to the different modules, and uh, you will have. Everything here. Uh, Workbench. See, so freecadweb.org web slash wiki. Um, working. So I go to working with workbenches, and then the draft workbench. Yeah. This is what you. Yeah, you have the list of workbenches, and each of yep. them has full documentation. Yep. So with that's... all the tools, and if you take like the yep. rotate tools, it will explain Great. you thoroughly how how it works and all the options 
Uh, mhm, mm mhm. Mm excellent, excellent. Okay. So okay. yeah, basically take that that, uh, that page that I did, the workbench pages as kind of bookmark and yep. Bookmark that. Yeah. Draw some there. Okay. Thank you very much. So stop this recording. Thank you very much. And thank you very much.